first time in months under pure UWFI rules. In the last few months, we've seen it uh, in dog collar matches, a terminal combat, you know, the extreme version of UWFI. So you got to think the champion, the holder of the, the heavy hitter title right now, Austin Connolly, do you think he might have a little ring rust? He's not been technically in that type of match in months. And this is quite a, a, a different breed, a different type. Well, speaking, speaking of different breeds, right. The Carnivore, Remington Roar, somebody we're no stranger to here at Flop House. He might not have had the best record here so far in Flop House. But this is a man who is afraid of nobody. Stepped up into the face of Zodiac, our former Flop House champion. Was able to at least take it on to him. Wasn't able to secure the victory, but showed no fear. And when we talk heavy hitters championship, this is one man who is not afraid to hit hard. Deathmatch pro across the board. Some of the heaviest hands I have seen here in Flop House. Well, let's see if he can earn himself into maybe next year's heavy hitters con uh, tournament. If, if he takes on one of the craziest individuals I've ever seen in a paradigm ring, the Mad Dog, Austin Connolly. I can't hear anything. You know, since winning that belt has defended against the likes of Max the Impaler, Jordan Blade, Max Zero throughout the year and a half uh, has beaten the likes of a Hoodfoot, Lord Crew, Jackson Stone, Dominic Garini, AEW's Daniel Garcia, and Davey Richard. I mean, what in the hell can you say here? He will kill all of your darlings. We're going to get through the ring introductions first. first. Here we go. The Challenger. to love is almost like a, another appendage. Right. You always see him with that chain. And this is the first time he's been at the Indiana City Brewing Company, but not the first time he's been in a Flophouse ring. We saw him back at the private stash tapings in 2021. You can check those out on IWTV if you have not already. You got to think here, uh, one of the notable things about Austin Connolly and these UWFI matches is the the sound of the bell, the rushing in, the charging in. But he's going up against a, a Remington Roar who is known for laying in those heavy strikes. Right. And that could catch him coming in. And you got to think. You saw, he, we didn't up. see the rush here tonight, bro. Very tentative, very tentative. And that speaks volumes for the respect that Austin oh. Connolly has cool. for Remington Roar. Woo. Oh, my God. Oh, what a right hand. He caught him. Well, this, if this goes to stop, this is going to go to stop. There's no way. But it's going to be a striking stoppage, a knockout. We're not going to see a suplex technician like we saw previously. This is going to be living up to the Hard Hitters Championship name. Absolutely. It's hard to ever see a finish by points in the UWFI style. I think it's only happened once in, under the Paradigm banner. And I don't think it's going to happen here tonight. Stop. Just throw. Oh, my oh. God. I've never hit anyone as hard as these guys are hitting each other. I, I, oh, a knee! Ooh. Oh, God, he's rocked! The Mad Dog! He's on Woozy Street here. Wait a minute. Trying to oh, fight out of the corner. Right back! Oh, you know, it's the most uh, dangerous uh, animal is a wounded one. There's an elbow to the chin. Oh, a discus elbow car right in the back of the head. Oh. Conley's down. Oh, he's still moving, though. Not a, and if you make contact, the count breaks, obviously. Absolutely. That stops it right then and there. 
Now trying to wear him down with a submission, but there's Connolly with a headbutt right to the side of the head, the temple He's area. Ooh, absolutely, and as we've seen, nobody truly wins with a headbutt. Both men rock. Right. You know, when I saw this on paper during the announcement, I knew that this was going to be just a vicious, brutal match. And, and already, we're not even three minutes into this. We're trading headbutts. We're trading fists back and forth. Oh, 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 oh. oh that was my Ooh. first true wrestling move of the match. Belly to belly. I don't know the last time I saw Connolly down like this so early on, even against people like Davey Richards and Daniel Garcia. He wasn't taken down and, and put down like that. Oh, he doesn't look, you know, in that uh, in his bag of tricks looking for what's going to help him here, help him out of this situation. As There's you the see. belly to belly again, but inside live action. There's the crunch. Signature Connolly takes over the much bigger Remington Roar. The strength there, that deadlifting power of Austin Connolly on display. The very massive Remington Roar being tossed across the ring there. And you got to think for for somebody like Rem, who who has not really seen a U, UWFI rule set, maybe try to take advantage of that ten count. Take take the moment to like catch your breath and, and get your head back into this because you know. Oh no! He's like taking this. him He's choking him. Look at that! Just on the back. Oh no! Oh, 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 it. oh. It. Something oh. new out of the Mad Dog hangs Remington Roar out to dry and retains. The heavy hitters title here tonight at Booza Balooza. To, right, you can see the hand drop down, the full extension on the neck with the choke. Look at his face. Good the Lord. intensity is real. It's palpable. They get what? One thing to keep in mind, though, Rem Remington did not technically tap out. Right. Absolutely not. He, he was... I would